Well, today is the day. It is, in fact, the worst day possible. It is the woke ideologies reckoning day. It's the day that Matt Walsh's movie, Am I Racist, comes out. And every single woke lunatic featured in that movie has deactivated their Twitter. In fact, theater employees are colluding behind the scenes to try and make it difficult for people to even buy tickets. Meanwhile, the Rotten Tomatoes review score of the movie is 100% certified fresh from actual loser, crit I mean, critics, and 99% certified fresh from viewers. This movie is an absolute hit in the box office. Let's start there. By the way, have you picked up your tailgates for Trump stickers? Trying to get to 100 orders. I'm not making any money on these. I don't make money on these. I just want you to get them out there. I want to get them out. Maggie is in the office today shipping them. I want them stuck around everywhere. Uh, take pictures of where you stick them. Tag tailgates for Trump. We'll, we'll retweet them. You know, we'll, let's make this fun. Let's party our way to helping Trump win the election in 2024. 100% certified fresh on all four critics that were able to review the film. Now... Here's the thing. The trick is most mainstream reviewers actually won't review the film because they know if you get to five, Rotten Tomatoes actually has to show the review. It is 100% certified fresh, but they're hiding the score because there's quote unquote only four reviews. We'll see if another reviewer actually submits. We'll see. I don't think they will. The popcorn meter shows a 99%. You see they're hiding the score because reviewers are refusing to review it. Here is the account of every one of the woke losers that got outed in Matt Walsh's movie. Cater Slater, deactivated. Sarah, or whatever, this person that did the struggle sessions, deactivated. Robin D'Angelo, deactivated. The movie's not even out yet. You see this, Matt Wall says, most mainstream outlets have refused to acknowledge our film. I give it a lot of credit to Variety, not only for covering it, but being very fair in how they cover it. Huge respect for that. I'm going to guess it was Eric Kane. Oh, Tatiana Siegel. Let's see, was it positive? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. The left is using sat satire to mock the views of those they, those they agree with, he says, noting Sasha Baron Cohen's Bull Rat playbook. Comedy died in Hollywood. At some point, it just fell off a cliff. It got to a point where you can't make jokes, anything anymore. No one left uh, that you can even poke fun at, except for white men, I suppose. But after a while, those jokes get pretty old too. So then, you know, everything's stale. And I think that's where we are right now. Well, it seems like, you know, Maybe, maybe people are coming around. The best part is when he asks, <laughs> is when the white fragility lady, lady pays reparations to Matt's producer. Considering how great his other one was, I can only assume this one will be amazing. We saw it yesterday, so many laughs and several groans from the audience, especially at the end when a group was willing to beat themselves up literally because they were white. Well done, Variety. Thank you for covering a movie. We known the mainstream media regular theatrical critics refuse to. I mean, you can see, again, it's still at four. We need one more bold reviewer to review this movie so that it actually shows. I mean, even if they gave it a negative review, it would still show an 80%, which would be devastating for Hollywood. It would be devastating. Anti-racist authors, Syra Rao, Regina Jackson, claim they were conned into appearing in Matt Walsh's fascist Nazi white supremacy film. Remember, these people charge white people tens of thousands of dollars to tell them that they're racist. That's, that's what happened. That's, that's, what, that's who these people are. What they're mad about is that millions of people will now see their grift. They will now see the grift. And uh, the anti-racist activists, educators, and authors who are exposed in Matt Walsh's film 
are rushing to do damage control since they realize that they had been deceived by the conservative pundit disguised in skinny jeans, tweed, and a man bun wig. How do they not recognize him? It's literally the Superman puts his glasses on and he's Clark Kent. How did they not know who he was? On the call before the book club for white women to confess their inner racism and vow the two better launch into high gear, <coughs> Rowan Jackson spoke to their paying guests about their appearance in the film. Turns out they weren't happy about it. The details were revealed to the post-millennial by a whistleblower on the call. <laughs> Probably Matt. By the way, we should tell you, Rao told the book club, Karens, we haven't even talked about this. We were the subject, we were part of the subjects of an upcoming Matt Walsh Ben Shapiro film, which comes out all the big cinemas. Well, it's 1500. By the way, I am going to pay money to see this movie this weekend. I've had my disagreements with Daily Wire and Matt Walsh, but it's absolutely worth it to support this film to give them your money in the box office so people have to report how much money they make in the box office to show people how much money non-crazy people have and are willing to support with so that we get more projects like this. August 14th was part of a call Race to Reading series, White Women, the book club. <laughs> it was hosted by Rowan Jackson. It was an offshoot of their dinner party series called Race to Dinner where white women paid thousands of dollars to be told how racist they are. In the book club, they do all that. But on Zoom, for the budget price of just $50, tax and fees included. Before jumping into exploring how white women needed to stop being nice and how their tears are weaponized against people of colors, Rao continues said, don't go to see it because nobody needs to pay dude, that dude that money. Rao continues saying, don't go see it because nobody needs to pay that dude money. I, along with a crew of maybe a half dozen of other people, including Robin D'Angelo, were conned into being part of fascist, Nazi, white supremacy film. Yeah, calling Ben Shapiro a Nazi is always a, a time-tested and mother-approved methodology. Undoubtedly, the dutiful white women will not go see the film. If they did, they would see an honest account of their dinner series, where white women hang onto Rao and Jackson's every word tightly as they grip their stems of wine glasses. Rao and Jackson blast a white woman at the dinner for being racist, when she asks her black husband to keep his voice down in public. That's tone policing, Rao tells her. The woman dutifully is aghast. Walsh poses as a waiter and serves the women before disrupting and mansplaining anti-racism to the women, taking up for the guest's side to criticize the white women as they eat their meal. I mean, absolutely incredible. I, I don't know. I want to see if it's actually playing near me. I'm going to look right now. I'm going to look right now to see if it's playing near me. Uh, and I'll buy tickets right now to encourage people. There it is. P, please be playing at my favorite theater. Let's see. Buy tickets. 1500 It'll probably only be in Milwaukee. Oh, nice. Okay. It's not at the one I really want to see, but it's at the Marcus Majestic, which is in Brookfield. That's a nice one. It's, all, it's in like most theaters around me. Love it. Go pay to see it. Uh, also, look at this. Many of the left are criticizing the tactics. We used to make our film. Notice how they made no such criticisms of Bolrat when he criticizes America, makes fun of Americans and poor people. You know, Robin D'Angelo who has now deactivated her account, made a statement about Matt Walsh's new film. Here's the statement. After reviewing the sequence of events and discussing with colleagues, I realized that they had lied about their agenda and I had been played. I spread the word on my networks. Unfortunately, last month I started receiving hateful misogynistic emails. Some referenced to Daily Wire's Ben Shapiro's website, which announced the film is indeed being released and is, titled, is not titled Shades of Justice, which is what they told her. It's meant to support anti-racist cause. It is a bull rat style mockumentary titled Am I Racist? And designed to humiliate and discredit anti-racist edu educators. Good. There's no such thing as an anti-racist educator. Look at this. Movie theater employees are currently on Reddit. By the way, go to movie theaters. You know, movie theaters probably be a good place to put your tailgates for Trump. 
stickers real-time order update uh where are we at i said we were at 36 earlier trying to get to 100 if 100 people order at least 50 that means 5,000 stickers hit by monday we're up to 44 orders hopefully we get to at least 100 i'd like to get to a thousand orders and then pe people can deploy these stickers everywhere i don't want you just to buy the stickers i want you to buy them and put them up uh here look at this this is appalling here uh movie theaters employees plot against it i'll be making the transaction as difficult as possible for anyone seeing the matt walsh movie i'm going to be bringing my cell phone actually you know what i have a different idea i'm going to go to a movie theater where i know that it's all liberals that work there i know a couple of them that's where i'm going to see the movie that's where i'm going to see it uh can you take the good seats out of service without anyone noticing only sell the creatures that crawl out of the mud to see the thing crap seats. These are our movie theater employees. <clears throat> this one just makes me feel gross to have it playing. I can handle God's Not Dead or whatever the Christian movies they have. But this one feels wrong to have. It's going to be a long couple of days. I can't wait. Here's another one. We're getting it. We had one manager joke that if he did, he would quit. We might just if he deals with any of their stuff. Good, I hope they do. I hope they do. I hope they all quit. Right-wing fundamentalists war wiping their entire rear end with the art form and business of film pisses me off even more than any other of the BS stuff they do. Make sure you go see Matt Walsh's film today. You can get to, or this weekend. Let's make sure it has a big box office. And head on over to tailgates number four trump.com slash store to pick up your stickers. Maggie is in the office today filling orders. So if you order today, they ship today. They'll probably get there maybe tomorrow if you're close, Monday or Tuesday next week. Then spend all next week sticking them up, putting them up on bulletin boards, putting them on anywhere you can think of where people will see them and you're not going to get in trouble. And then send me your pictures, tag tailgates for Trump on X. It's tailgates number four Trump on X or the quartering. And we'll share them. Let's get 50,000 of these things deployed by the end of next week. 100,000 deployed by the week after that. We can really make a difference by making it fun. Remember, the idea is to get people to have parties. We have dozens of party recipes, tailgate recipes, party games, all funny mega-themed stuff. So tell people about the website. Tell people about our goal. Our resources are here. Talking points to convince people why they should vote for Jump. Uh, Trump, how to register to vote, how to check to make sure you're registered to vote, how to cast your vote, early voting calendars. Everything you need is on tailgates for Trump. Don't sit on the sidelines. Get a pack of stickers. Go stick them up. Get your email address on the website. Get involved. We're going to need it. Need to make this thing way too big to rig. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. If you haven't, subscribe or follow down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.